Jacob wrestled the angel in Genesis, it was exhausting and tiring, and by the time he finished and won, his hip was injured. It hurt, and he walked away limping. Some people have no scars because they haven't tangled with the omnipotent. Perhaps God is looking for people who won't just blindly accept anything, but who want to nakedly ask, to be vulnerable, to learn, to be spirited enough to strive, and when all is said and done, when we realize we simply cannot comprehend so much of the never-ending cosmos, that there's a humility that comes from asking wondrous questions. So am I willing to be peeled back, laid open, exposed? <laughs> In my earlier days, this gray, this in-betweenness, would have caused consternation. The maybes, the not-quite-yets, and the what-just-happens would sometimes throw me off, wondering why I couldn't see more clearly. But with experience, I've come to realize that this gray is an indicator that I'm getting closer. There's no dramatic sense of closure to this story. There have been divine appointments. Strange winds sometimes blow intriguing persons into and then out of our lives. However, what I've learned will resonate with me for the rest of my life. By keeping my eyes open wide as I get closer to the truth, I see the mixture of black and white. Instead of fearing it, I've come to accept it, even embrace it. Faith, doubt, light, dark, sadness, and joy are all intertwined. They work together to create a stronger whole. When everything gets answered, it's fake. The mystery is the truth. <laughs>